Hey, what's up, y'all? I decided to make a quick video uh, because I believe sharing is caring. And I just want to share five ways that have helped me grow my channel. For those of you who do not know, we've been doing YouTube. I've been doing it for a total of four years, but I've been taking it seriously for about two and a half to three years. And I was stagnant for about two years. And I didn't notice a movement until this year in January. And I just want to share with you just five main things that I noticed really helped with uh, growing our channel. Um, from when we started at, we were stagnant at like 200 subscribers for two years. It was about between one to 200 subscribers. And this year we jumped up. Currently we're at 5,000 subscribers. Um, and this is August 20. What's today? August 27th of 2018. Okay, so number one um, is going to be consistency. And this is actually the one that trips a lot of people up, consistency. So if you post a video, especially if it's a good one, and then you fall off the face of the earth for two weeks, a month, or however long it is, and we don't hear from you anymore, I guarantee you we will forget about you or we will move on um, and, and to, a, to a different uploader, to a different uh, content creator. And it's mainly because this industry is already oversaturated. So if you are not someone who's gonna constantly put your mark out there, we will forget about you fast. And when I, the reason why I keep saying we is because I am an avid watcher of YouTube. I love YouTube. I don't even watch regular TV. I get, I watch, only YouTube. Yep, YouTube? Yeah. Shout out to Lovely T. Yes. And Tasha K. Drinking wine with her. I'm wine with Tasha K. But anyways, um, uh, number two, it's going to be niche. And this is actually when I noticed that our channel had a change. Mainly because before we uh, got into the trucking industry, we were kind of all over the place. What were some of the things we were doing? Um, recipe wars. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, couponing, yeah. uh, everyday life, just what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you gotta understand, like when you first starting out, like who who the hell is Nick and Carla? Like we don't know who you are. I mean, it helped us in the long run because people who find us now and they really love our personalities, they can yeah. go back and they. It's a lot of people that'll binge watch our channel, our videos, and thank you so much, y'all. We appreciate it. Thanks for leaving the comments from videos from way back when. We'll even go back and watch them too and just look at where we come or from. Or if somebody comment on one, we're like, oh man, we forgot about this yeah. video. Yeah, but in the beginning, it helps if you can just have a niche that you're focused on. And then if you want to veer off and show like, oh, this is what we got going on today. Like, for example, with Queen. Everybody know who Queen is by now. Um, she's a big vlogger on YouTube. Like, I can sit and watch her and Clarence NYC um, and watch them just do pretty much nothing. Mainly because I already know their backstory and I've already been following them. So just try to have a niche. Of course, our niche on this channel is trucking. So you already know when you come to our channel, nine times out of ten is gonna be something about trucking. Um, and it helps if you have a niche. It also helps other people to find you too. Um, number three is quality. The reason why I say quality, and well, no, what I mean by quality is don't go out and buy the most expensive camera. Cause again, I use my cell phone when I vlog. Don't go out and try to buy the most expensive editing software. That's not what I mean by quality. What I mean by quality is just kind of watch the people who are already where you want to be. Just kind of watch some of the things that they do and understand, try to gain understanding of why you as a viewer would sit down for however many minutes and watch them on camera. Like what is it that they're doing to keep your attention? And what is it that, that you can take from them and incorporate into your channel? So a lot of things like the people need to avoid say dead spots, in the videos like if, if it's just some really boring areas like sit down and try to watch your own videos and if you find yourself daydreaming or drifting off nine times out of ten that's a great spot where people are clicking off your video like i'll tell you there's a lot of videos i sit and i and i watch and i try to get into it and i find myself thinking about other stuff and i'm like oh girl let me get off this video let me click off and let me go somewhere else because it's so much that i can get into on youtube i, I don't want to sit and time is so limited nowadays we try to squeeze so much into 24 hours if you're not entertaining me within like the first 
30 seconds to a minute, that's yeah. short as hell, ain't it? I know, but it's true. I'll probably give you three minutes, but... I give you 30 seconds to a minute. If I'm daydreaming, I'm gone because there's so much I'm trying to catch up on YouTube. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is learning. Never stop learning. And what I mean by that, never feel like you know so much where you can't sit down and watch the content creators who uh, make videos like five ways to grow your channels or um, you should be doing these on your YouTube channel or you just sit down and learn read a book I mean I say read a book but I, I, I don't read books like that Either. I watch videos <laughs> tutorials shit like that I may google something if it ain't too long then I sit down and read that's just how we are human beings a lot of human beings are nowadays but anyways never stop learning and educating yourself so you can apply new things because this is 2018 right now thank god that reefer turned off this is 2018 right now but in 2019 20 so on methods are going to change you know what i'm saying so always keep learning and then last but not least number five is make sure that whatever you're doing whatever you're creating videos about is something that you love and it's something that you're passionate about now the reason i say this is because because again that the industry is oversaturated with content creators unless you're super lucky you're not gonna blow up overnight you're not gonna wake up and see millions of views it's gonna be times where you wake up and you check your um your channel and you only have say five views and three of those views came from you and your boo I'm just saying I did this for two years now what is it that they kept me doing this for two years without seeing any movement only views we have is like 10 to 15 views and half of them was for me watching them over and over and over what is it besides insanity it's got to be passion I'm very passionate about editing and filming I've always done it since I can remember since a kid okay and um and i just love it and and also make sure it's something that you love talking about so if you do makeup hair trucking food whatever travel make sure it's something that you're seriously passionate about or or you won't last point blank um it's a lot of channels i see that's dead like they start off strong and then they go and you don't hear from them anymore okay so um definitely make sure it's something you love and i was just saying uh previously like even though i'm I'm not passionate about trucking. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Like, it's hard for me to sit down and watch educational videos where they talk about the ins and outs of trucking. You go here and, and landing gear is here and in the um, in the trailer. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. But the reason why I'm able to last so long with the trucking is because I don't do it based off of pure educational. I do it off entertainment i love the entertainment side like i love telling stories if you have if you listen to my music you watch our videos notice there's always a story that's being told okay and um and that's what i that's what i'm just obsessed with the storyline and getting it across the music the the, the coloring the film I, I love it okay i love it i love it i love it um but so yeah make sure it's something you love okay got anything else to say carla all right i used to play video games i used to be obsessed with it but now all that crazy obsessed energy i put it towards editing videos i can sit for hours yeah. and just edit 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 sometimes she get on me you know how sometimes um you know in relationships you get on your boot about the plan get video games get off the game get off. she have to get on to me about editing I, I just love sitting down and and editing i love it i love it i love it i, I love it i love it <laughs> and, I, and, and i love it <laughs>